Hello guys and dolls. Now you all know I'm not one to really tiptoe and to sugarcoat anything, so I will start off with this. A big fuck you, Floyd Mayweather. Fuck you, Floyd Mayweather. And now I can already see some of the comments now. It's none of your business what he does outside the ring. Go fuck yourself. It is my business. It's your business what he does outside the ring. It became our business when he decided to portray or try to sell more tickets by being this whole bad boy. And this whole bad boy image, it's not really selling anymore because it's not an image. It's who he is. But here's the problem. A lot of times, people, here on YouTube especially, whenever somebody says they don't like Floyd Mayweather, they throw the race card and they call him a racist. That's not the answer. People don't like Floyd Mayweather, not because they're racist, but because he's an asshole. A few days ago, Floyd tweeted about a young Asian American basketball player, young up and coming Asian American basketball player, Jeremy Lin, who is killing the sport. Now, I'm not gonna really educate you on Lin. If you don't know about him, go Wikipedia him, go do a quick YouTube search on him. Um, but he's a really, he's a big rising star, really, and um, he's doing a fantastic job. So Floyd tweeted about him a few days ago and pulled the race card. Floyd's really no stranger to pulling the race card against all races. All right, so here's what Floyd tweeted. Jeremy Lin is a good player. Player, but all the hype is because he's Asian. Black players do what he does every night and doesn't get the same praise. He of course received a massive backlash and sent out this message just hours later. Other countries get to support and cheer their athletes and everything is fine as soon as I support black American athletes. I get criticized. Wow, what a country. Now, here's the problem. To throw somebody under the bus who's never said anything about you, met you, done anything against you, to throw that person under the bus to support your black American basketball players, there's a problem with that. There is a massive problem with that. Did it have anything to do with an Asian, an Asian basketball player? Maybe schooling your black American player? Did that have anything to do with it? Did you lose a fat stack on that infamous game, that, that famous game? Did you, did you lose money on that? Seems like something happened. That Asian really is getting under skin. Reminds me of another Asian that's gotten under your skin recently. Another Asian that's ruling the sport that is more popular than you are. An Asian more popular than a black boxer. An Asian boxer more popular than a black boxer. That has to be because he's Asian, right? Has to be. He's just getting the credit because he's Asian. No other reason. No other reason. I mean, come on, people. Why the fuck does race always have to come up? And not just boxing, but a lot of sports. Obviously, basketball is another good example. Um, why does race always have to come up? And you think I'm exaggerating it. No, I'm not. Um, I have a channel here. I get some type of credibility. Damn near every video of, of mine, when you go to the comment section, there's a race war about to erupt at any moment because one guy decided to troll or be a fucking idiot and try to have some fun because that's his idea of fun, not cute. Yesterday on Facebook I posted that the people who throw out the race card on the reg are generally the most racist people. That's just the way I see it and I stand by that statement. If you're going to continually throw out the race card, if you're going to use the race card, in my eyes you're racist damn near 90% of the time. If you would look for other reasons, why do people not like Floyd? Is it because we're racist? Is there something else behind it? No, we want to look at it as being racist because if we have to look at ourselves, if we had, if we, it's a lot easier to blame somebody else for, you know, not getting the job, for getting fired, for somebody not liking me. It's a lot easier to say it's their fault versus looking at myself and saying, hmm, maybe I'm an asshole. Come on, there are more, there's more of people like me than there are of people like you. More people like me who are trying to hold hands, spread love, you know, all about free love, free. Uh, hugs and kisses and you know good touchy filly shit like that versus people holding us back the good always prevails and here the good is going to prevail you may look at me and you know when I sing a song and I say nigga to call me racist for singing a song that says nigga yeah go fuck yourself no, come on man what year are we in what year are we in the person to push us forward in terms of um, you know mending hearts in my eyes has been Chris Rock Laughter has always been the best medicine. It always will be the best medicine. The most recent person in turn, uh, in recent history, to really bring us together as a as a you know country has been Chris Rock to me. Now I'm getting completely off subject, and this could I could really go on and do a whole video on this, but this is a boxing channel, so I will try to keep it boxing. Um, but the bottom line is, does racism still exist? Of course it does. Anybody would be a complete fool to really deny that, but. 
do you have to keep perpetrating it? When I see something negative on the news or in my Facebook feed, you will almost never find me talking about that. All of these children that have been killed, raped, etc., maimed, um, all of these horrible news stories that are, you know, that are filling my news filter in Facebook, I refuse to spread that news. I, re I refuse to, um, you know, talk about that. It may be boxing related. I may spread some, you know, juicy boxing details, but I will never spread negative news. I, I try not to because my mouth is a tool and I need to use my tool only for good. And I'm saying this to men, so I need to be careful. <laughs> but my point is, only good things should come out of our mouths. If we're going to say something, it should be something that is going to help somebody. It should be something that is going to do more good to society. And with Floyd's position in society, he should be doing as much as he can to spread the good. Look at my, my very favorite boxer of all time, one of my favorite role models of all time, ever, ever. And I know this is so cliche, and I hate that, um, you know, everybody is obsessed, obsessed with him as I am, but Muhammad Ali, he stood for something. He absolutely st stood for something, and I'm going to get teary-eyed if I break down everything about him. Not only did he stand for something for the black people, he stood for something for the American people, he stood for something for the Muslim people, he stood for something for the American Muslim people, for everybody. And here's Floyd, not bringing us together, separating us. That's not right, y'all. I don't know, maybe Floyd could use a dose of Umrah. Somebody go take him on an Umrah and just introduce him to Islam. Maybe that would help him lighten his heart or something. I don't know. He needs something. So I'm going back to my original thought process. I don't know how many minutes ago it was. I've been recording for like 10 minutes now. But to go back to my original thought, um, people don't hate Floyd. The majority of people don't hate Floyd due to racism which is often portrayed here on YouTube um, by all the different channels and all the different fucktards who spread all that bullshit. That's not the reason. The reason they hate Floyd is because he's an outright asshole. He just, he is. He's a fucking asshole. He's a piece of shit human being sometimes, and he's an asshole. In conclusion, don't pull the race card, people. It really, it's a weak attempt to redirect blame off of ourselves. It stuns personal growth, development uh, within ourselves to discover the real reason as to why, like I said, we didn't get hired, why we got fired, why somebody doesn't like us. It really um, stunts our personal growth, and like I said, it, it it's easier to blame somebody else and not look at ourselves, because who really wants to look at ourselves and see flaws? We don't. But you will grow as a person if you do.